Welcome, everybody, to Rosary Confraternity Sunday, the second Sunday of Advent. And we have a very special message, actually, from our priest in residence here, Father Daniel Patrick DeBroy, um, who uh, sent us a little bit of a recording for all of us and a blessing, too. So we're going to play that a little bit later. But a thought to start with, of course, this week coming up, we have the crowning, the online crowning. And of course, many people have uh, ordered statues by, by donation, and they've been shipped out all over, quite frankly, North America, as far as California. And it's interesting, because when you look at the tracking, some of them say they're going to get there on the 6th or the 7th or the 8th. So hopefully everybody will get their statue. And then even if you don't have you know, this particular statue to crown, you can certainly take a statue of Our Lady and participate um, with maybe some flowers or something. Just get creative and you can be part of that. So we spoke with Father Fabio yesterday, little switch in plans. He is going to be remaining in Calgary. So Angelina and I are heading to the Cape tomorrow. So we hope to broadcast from Regina's in front of the National Pilgrim statue, the traveling statue on the 8th. And I'm just gonna share the screen of what the itinerary is gonna look like because we just published that yesterday. So this is the latest on it. So here we go. Let me go over with you. So it will be between 2 and 3 p.m. Eastern. Uh, it will be recorded because we know there's a number of people who may not be able to participate live with us. And as per usual, we'll open up the Zoom room a little bit early so that we can just uh, have a time of fellowship together and get set up for the recording. We'll have some opening remarks, and then Father Fabio will uh, share a message with us. And just in our conversation yesterday, he's just re really receiving beautiful inspiration. So I know that all of us will be blessed when we hear him. We will uh, aim for a crowning around 2.30, and then at 2.40, Lorena will lead us in the little crown of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Those of you who have received the statues will have received that beautiful chaplet. I don't know if you have one here, sweetheart, to hold up, but wow, just it has the icon, I guess, of Our Lady of the Cape as part of it, and just so much love, care, and prayer has been put into each one of these. And then we'll have closing remarks. So it'll just be uh, this hour time frame, but obviously something that's incredibly special. The other thing I wanted to point out that is a new addition to the site is if you scroll down to the Rosary Confraternity drop down box, you'll notice that if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, we've now added St. Louis de Montfort's secret of the rosary and when you click on that you'll have a couple of options you can actually buy a hard copy from um, the Montfort publications in the United States where of course our good friend Father Hugh Gillespie is or there is a not-for-profit public domain version right here that you can that you can actually click on and read I just love the excerpt, so I just put a couple on here. Uh, just even this, this first paragraph of this is the fourth rose. All things, even the holiest, are subject to change, especially when they are dependent on man's free will. It is hardly to be wondered at, then, that the confraternity of the Most Holy Rosary only retained its first fervor for a century after it was instituted by St. Dominic. After this, it was like a thing buried and forgotten. Doubtless, too, the wicked scheming and jealousy of the devil were largely responsible for getting people to neglect the rosary and thus block the flow of God's grace, which it had drawn upon the world. And I point that out because... Very interesting, isn't it? Because you, as you read more, you realize that the Confraternity of the Most Ro Holy Rosary has kind of come into vogue, come into fashion, if you will, every few hundred years. And believe it or not, this little remnant here is part of this new real uh, resurgence of it. And in many ways, even though it's, it has, you know, people have been enrolling in the confraternity 
at Portland for some years, you know, in terms of an, an actual strategy to renew it around the world, this has just come about in and through the Marian devotional movement with obviously the authorization of the Dominican order. So very, very important, very precious. And we look forward to sharing more from the secret of the rosary with you as we go forward. And we have some special plans for the secret of the rosary as we go forward in 2023. But for now, of course, we've got to read something from the annals. I have something from 1964. What I love about reading in the annals is that you're kind of you know, time traveling right into the thought of those folks in that present moment. And it's always really neat to just compare, you know, the thoughts of people living out the faith in those days um, 64 is a while ago, and those now. Now, this little particular section I'm going to read from, you can see Our Lady the Cape is on the left, and on the right is just a reflection from the superior at that time. And what's interesting is he's writing this, speaking about this exact time frame in 1964. And what I mean by that is he's wanting to inspire people to pray the novena between, get this, November 29th and December 8th. We're right in the middle of it. So let's just enter into his thought and where his heart was at back in 1964. He who is mighty has done great things for me. This is the soul felt cry as well as the intense prayer of the guardians of Our Lady of the Cape Shrine and of all the pilgrims of our Rosary Madonna on the occasion of the great novena of December 8th. The year 1964, in fact, will have been for us all priests and laymen, pilgrims and visitors, filled with numerous and important graces with grandiose and unforgettable celebrations. So they go on to talk about the fact this was the 250th anniversary of the building of the little shrine, that jewel, that anteroom of the Madonna, as it has just been called, of old Father Vachon and later Father Dissolet, where we're well directed by divine providence when moved by their deep devotion, they led their parishioners towards an intense Marian piety in founding the Rosary Confraternity in raising up this revered shrine, then in dedicating it to the Rosary devotion. So we're really, you know, part of an ongoing tradition of the Rosary and the Confraternity, the Most Holy Rosary. And of course, as we've talked about, we in our day are being written into the story of Our Lady of the Cape, Queen of the Most Holy Rosary, and now Queen of Intercessors in a very, very special way. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to Angelina, who has that very special message from Father Daniel, I believe. And then first, I want to share with you, though, I'm going to show you first our little statue of mystical Rose, Rosa Mystica. And a lot of you may know about the Hour of Grace on December 8th that is coming up. And if you don't, it's very easy to Google Hour of Grace PDF, Hour of Grace information. And uh, Randy is just going to show us really quickly. We do uh, have a PDF here that is available. And then he's going to put that into the chat box for any of you if you want to download it. But again, you can find that online too, which is Googling uh, Hour of Grace PDF. There's more than one out there. But this one has an explanation too of the story behind it. So that is what we were going to be doing, our rosary and our divine mercy chaplet during that hour, along with the Psalm 91. You have to pray that, or Psalm 51, I think it is, three times with arms outstretched. But you can learn more about that after. So now we'll go with uh, hearing this incredible message from Father Daniel Patrick de Broy, and then we'll put the spotlight on the My holy relics. Sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. So Dennis and Angelina have asked if I would share a brief thought on some aspect of the second Sunday of Advent. So some 300 years before Jesus was born, Alexander the Great conquered the whole area that we now refer to and call the Holy Land. And he was Greek and he imposed this really powerful culture on the people of the area. 
uh, so much so that when it came time to write the New Testament, it was written in Greek, not in Hebrew. Um, the Hebrew had been the language of the Jewish people and uh, the language um, of the of the Old Testament. So, in the Greek, the word that's used today uh, in the Gospel uh, to describe John the Baptist, baptism of repentance, is the word metanoia. And metanoia is really a very powerful, powerful word in the Greek. And it does not mean uh, just to ask for repentance. It does not mean to just be sorry for our sins, although it does mean that. But it means a whole rending of the heart and mind, a whole turning away from self and from the world, a 180-degree turn. It was a powerful conversion uh, that would take place in, in our lives. And that's what John was was really offering to the people and so much excitement about that in other um, areas we're going to see even soldiers are coming to him and saying what what can i do so this is what i'd like to offer uh to you this whole understanding that uh, we pray this sunday of advent for a metanoia for a complete rending and change and conversion of heart and mind so may almighty god bless you now and forever amen Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you, Father Daniel. So we are going to be praying today with these holy relics that you see up here on the screen. And we're going to be praying with uh, particularly St. Barbara, because this is the date of her particular feast day. And St. Barbara is a patron saint against lightning. And also of uh, armorers, artil artillery men, architects, mathematicians, and miners. So if you know anybody in that in those particular fields. And also we're going to be praying with our holy relic of Saint John the Baptist. And Saint John the Baptist is a patron saint of Jordan, Puerto Rico, French Canada, and, and Florence. So now we'll just take a moment to pray with these particular holy relics today. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So St. Barbara, we want to come before you and ask for your powerful intercession uh, on this day. And especially for any of us, if we ever get caught in any bad storms and where there's lightning involved as well, we want to ask for your uh, powerful intercession for us for protection and all those that we love uh, dearly and will come in contact with throughout our lifetime. We also want to ask uh, St. John the Baptist for your powerful intercession for all of us for the graces of that reorientation of our heart to just fully, fully go forward and in serving our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, uh, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, especially for us as Our Lady of the Cape, Queen of Intercessors. And now we just take a moment for everybody just to give your intentions to St. Barbara and St. John the Baptist before we go into praying the Holy Rosary. St. Barbara, pray for us. St. John the Baptist, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So today, Angelina is going to be reading the meditations from the Pilgrim's Prayer Book from Captain Madeleine. So this dates back many, many decades. And in fact, there's even a quote here from uh, August 1964. But in the inside cover, this is very interesting. It says, by virtue of an indult of the sacred congregation of the Holy Office dated April 7th, 1916, there is a plenary, a plenary indulgence is granted to all pilgrims at the shrine of Our Lady of the Cape, who having confessed and received communion, pray for the intentions of the Pope and to all who pray the rosary while visiting with rosary groups. So that's just remarkable. And we know a number of you make it to the Cape and uh, you can earn that plenary indulgence each and every time. So with that, 
we will turn it over to Lorena to begin us. And then, of course, Angelina will share the meditations from this very special pilgrim book. Prayer of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We offer this rosary today in line with our own intentions, the intentions put in our chat box, um, and for all the intentions of the members of the Rosary Confraternity, both living and deceased, for the intentions of Dennis and Angelina Gerard, the directors of the Marian Devotional Movement, and all of the initiatives of the MDM. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For the three theological virtues of faith, hope, and charity. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first glorious mystery, the resurrection. Meditation. Our Lord Jesus Christ, triumphing, glorious, and immortal over death, rose again on the third day. Prayer. O glorious Virgin Mary, by that joy thou didst receive in the resurrection of thy divine Son, obtain for us from him that our hearts may never grow astray after the false joys of this world, but may be forever employed in the pursuit of the true and solid joys of heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Our Lady of the Cape, Queen of Intercessors, pray for us who have recourse to thee. St. Joseph, Terror of Demons, protect us. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The second glorious mystery, the ascension of our Lord to heaven. Our Lord Jesus Christ, 40 days after his resurrection, ascended into heaven attended by angels in the presence of his disciples. Prayer. O Mother of God, comforter of the afflicted, as thy beloved Son, when he ascended into heaven, lifted up his hands and blessed his apostles as he was parted from them, so vouchsafe, most holy Mother, to lift up thy hands to him in our behalf, that we may enjoy the benefits of his blessings and of thine here on earth and hereafter in heaven. Our Father who art in heaven, <clears throat> hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive <coughs> us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fire. Of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Our Lady of the Cape, Queen of Intercessors, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Saint Joseph, Terror of Demons, protect us. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us and on the whole world. The third glorious mystery, our Lord Jesus Christ sent, as he had promised, the Holy Ghost upon his apostles, who, after returning to Jerusalem, had continued in prayer and supplication. O Holy Virgin, tabernacle of the Holy Ghost, obtain by thy intercession with his most sweet comforter, that we may know in this world the true way of salvation and walk in the path of virtue and good works. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread and, and forgive, forgive us, us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thine womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thine womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, as it, it was, was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, and ever shall be, world, world without, without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, and help especially those in most need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Our Lady of the Cape, Queen of Intercessors, pray for us. St. Joseph, Terror of Demons, defend us. St. Michael, the Archangel, Defend us. Sacred Heart of Jesus. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. The fourth glorious mystery, the assumption of the Blessed Virgin into heaven. The glorious Virgin passed out of this world unto God and was taken up into heaven, accompanied by the holy angels. O holy Virgin, who entering the heavenly places, didst fill the angels with joy and man with hope, vouchsafe to intercede for us at the hour of our death, that being delivered from the temptations of the devil, we may go from this temporal state to enjoy the happiness of eternal life. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who are most in need of thy mercy. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Our Lady of the Cape, Queen of Intercessors, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Saint Joseph, Terror of Demons, protect us. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us. Sacred Heart of Jesus. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of the Blessed Virgin. The glorious Virgin Mary, to the joy of all the saints, was elevated Queen of Heaven by her Son with the brightest crown of glory. O glorious Queen of all the heavenly host, accept this rosary, which as a crown of roses we offer at thy feet and grant through thy holy intercession that our souls may be inflamed with so ardent a desire of seeing thee so gloriously crowned. It may never die within us until it shall be changed into the happy fulfillment of thy blessed sight. Notre Père qui es aux cieux, que ton nom soit sanctifié, que ton règne vienne, que ta volonté soit faite sur la terre comme au ciel. Donne-nous aujourd'hui notre pain de ce jour. Pardonne-nous nos offenses, comme nous pardonnons aussi à ceux qui nous ont offensés. Et ne laisse pas entrer en tentation, mais délivre-nous de mal. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes, et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Donne-nous, oh, je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce, le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie parmi toutes les femmes, et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Je, vous salue, je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce, le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes, et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce, le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes, et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie. Pleine de grâce, le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes, et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce, le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes, et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes, et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes. Et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes. Et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Je vous salue, Marie, pleine de grâce. Le Seigneur est avec vous. Vous êtes bénie entre toutes les femmes, et Jésus, le fruit de vos entrailles, est béni. 
Sainte Marie, Mère de Dieu, priez pour nous pauvres pécheurs, maintenant et à l'heure de notre mort. Amen. Gloire soit au Père, et au Fils, et au Saint-Esprit. Comme elle était au commencement, maintenant et toujours, pour les siècles des siècles. Amen. Ô mon Jésus, pardonnez-nous nos péchés, préservez-nous du feu de l'enfer, conduisez au ciel tous les hommes, spécialement ceux qui ont plus besoin de votre miséricorde. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Our Lady of the Cape, Queen of Intercessors. Priez pour nous qui avons recours à vous. Saint Joseph, Terreur des démons. Protégez-nous. Saint Michel Archange. Dépendez-nous. Sacré-Cœur de Jésus. Aie pitié de nous et du monde entier. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor, banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in the valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. To you, O blessed Joseph, do we come in our tribulation, and having implored the help of your most holy spouse, we confidently invoke your patronage also, through that charity which bound you to the Immaculate Virgin, Mother of God, and through the paternal love with which you embrace the child Jesus. We humbly beg you graciously to regard the inheritance which Jesus Christ has purchased by his blood and with your power and strength to aid us in our necessities. O most watchful guardian of the Holy Family, defend the chosen children of Jesus Christ. O most loving Father, ward off from us every contagion of error and corrupting influence. O our most mighty protector, be kind to us and from heaven assist us in our struggle with the power of darkness. As once you rescued the child Jesus from deadly peril, So now protect God's holy church from the snares of the enemy and from all adversity. Shield to each one of us by your constant protection so that, supported by your example and your aid, we may be able to live piously, to die in holiness, and to obtain eternal happiness in heaven. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, send now your spirit over the earth. Let the Holy Spirit live in the hearts of all nations, that they may be preserved from degeneration, disaster, and war. May the Lady of all nations, the Blessed Virgin Mary, be our advocate. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, pour out your benedictions upon the Holy Church, upon its priests, upon all its children. Sustain the just, convert the sinners, assist the dying, deliver the souls in purgatory, extend over all hearts the sweet empire of your love. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Amen. For the most holy intentions of our Holy Father, Pope Francis. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Chaplet of Divine Mercy. In the name of the Father, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You expire, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, 
envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a font of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. O blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fountain of mercy for us. I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. In atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy Amen. mighty one, holy Amen. immortal one, have mercy Amen. on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one. Holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible, look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. St. Faustina, pray for us. And St. John Paul II, pray for us. All you holy saints and angels, pray for us. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, Father, and the Son, and, the Son, and of the Holy, holy Spirit. Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you all for joining us today and praying with us. And uh, don't go away. We have a wonderful giveaway. Oh, that kind of rhymes, eh? <laughs> don't go away. We have a wonderful giveaway. Uh, from uh, MDM member, uh, Amy Shen has donated these precious rosaries. Now, these rosaries have got, you'll see an image of it come up there. These uh, beautiful rosaries have a, a medal in the center of it, of Our Lady of Fatima with the children. And also on the back of that is it looks like it's dirt from Fatima. It also has been touched to the holy relic of St. Jacinta and St. Francesco and the a piece of the apparition tree from Our Lady of Fatima. So we're going to hear a beautiful testimony about blessed rose petals because if any of you still desire to send us any blessed rose petals, Please do, because these are so important to get into the homes of people throughout the world. And we had a precious soul, our dear Randy, who sent us some blessed rose petals. And I'm going to ask you, Randy, to give us a number and then share your testimony of uh, why you wanted to give us some and how you did it. For a number between 1 and 61. Sorry, I'll, uh, I'll pick 32. <laughs> 32 it is. Yeah. And I guess 32 just because uh, that was the anniversary that my wife and I celebrated this year. So, <laughs> And it ties in with the story of the Blessed Rose Petals because I, uh, for the anniversary, I got my wife an arrangement of roses and uh, decided that I would like some uh, blessed rose petals to be able to distribute. Um, so I, I had them blessed. And uh, then as they were drying, I was sitting with a huge pile of blessed rose petals, not really knowing <laughs> um, how I was going to be able to distribute them all and, and put myself out there to do that. And then Dennis uh, 
on one of the Rosary Comforter Sundays mentioned that uh, there was a need for a blessed rose petal. So um, I sent a bunch. <laughs> so um, I kept some for me to still challenge myself to get out there and do some, but uh, um, I sent the bulk of them uh, off to Denison and to Lima. So, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Randy. Let's give him a hand. Isn't that a precious story? Oh, <laughs> so you husbands out there, you heard what Randy did. So, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> learn from one another. <laughs> so, Lorena, do we have a winner yet? We do have a winner, Angelina. Our winner today is Hang. Congratulations, Hang. Congratulations. Wow. Awesome. So just send over uh, to us the um, your information and your address, and we will get it out to you. And Amy, thank you so much for donating these precious rosaries, and uh, with so much meaning to them. So did you did you find her, my love? No. Yeah. Oh, okay, great. You gotta see you there. Okay, great. That's good. All right. So with that, just a reminder, of course, Christmas is coming up, and people probably want to know why does Santa Claus have a rosary. Um, you know, so it's a good, good idea to get the DVD and give them out so that we can obviously find the real story of the story of Our Lady the Cape. I just, yeah, ever, <laughs> since, it's so funny. ever since I I saw the way we did the, uh, I always think of Santa Claus praying the rosary for some reason. So anyways, it's good, good, good Christmas gift to be giving out. And obviously there's, there's bulk pricing and all that kind of good stuff. So as many DVDs as we can get out, the better, because obviously that in inspires people and groups to enroll in the confraternity of the Most Holy Rosary. So we appreciate all of you who uh, are movie missionaries in doing that. So to end today's recording, we will end with this beautiful prayer on the back of the Holy Face. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord uncover his face to you and bring you peace. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. So thank you for joining us on Rosary Confraternity Sunday. And of course, we're looking forward to December 8th, the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, and of course, the online crowding. So hopefully we'll see a number of you there. Pray for us as we travel to the Cape tomorrow. And God bless you. We'll see you again. Bye. Bye.